still chipping away at the corn. I think we have another 80 acres left or so. We're just combining to keep up to the dryer. We have a, an AB farm fan, 120 bushel, I think it is. So it just, it runs 24 hours. It just, this corn's pretty tough. It's still over 30%. And uh, just takes a while to dry this stuff down. So today, Dad and I are out. We're just filling up the semi and we're gonna take that load and we're gonna mill it for the cattle. We're gonna put it through the, uh, the hay buster, chop it up. So we're just doing a load today just to get the pile set uh, so you know Christmas is tomorrow and Boxing Day and that and there isn't a lot you know things with celebration and all uh, it's hard to get a lot done so we're just working ahead a little bit to make sure that we do get some stuff done haul some more straw and then we got to take care of, it depends on how much it snows, but we're going to take care of the stover. We might actually, uh, when we chop it up, we might rake it and do some baling. It depends if it snows or not. So yeah, I've been making my round uh, with my honey delivery to all the landowners. And it's, that takes quite a while because everybody likes to visit. And I absolutely don't mind that. I just love talking farming. I'll talk farming all day. So, just about, I'm not going to get through them all before Christmas here is the only problem. Um, I like to get done before December, but this year has just been a crazy fall and everything got pushed back. And we're still combining, we've got jobs here and there we're doing, so I just don't get away like I can. Uh, so, looks like it's going to be before the new year though, I'm going to make sure I make it through everybody. Get everybody settled up with my honey tithe touch space with the neighbors so we're in pretty good shape just chipping away at the work that's one thing about us we just keep working so this huge laundry list we gotta get taken care of it will get done it's a little frustrating with the corn uh, bring a bit of snow into the hopper and the combine's not blowing fines out like it should it's kind of a milder day today, so the bloody seed, like we let that uh, cart set for two days full, and it's tough, you know, it is tough, and it hangs up. So we gotta make sure we don't get too far ahead that we end up with a whole bunch of combined corn that we can't get out of the hopper or the trucks. At any rate, that's my day. October still haunts us. A terrible storm. There's some fields we've lost 500 feet to a snowbank coming into the field edge. So we're going to have to, I don't know what we're going to do with that corn when it thaws in the spring, but we'll have to straight cut it maybe just to clean up the field edges. That October storm, I tell you. 